All right, so here's the deal. It's basically sunset right now, and I have spent all day editing the video that you probably saw yesterday or a couple days ago, because I don't know when this video is gonna come out, but I've spent so much time like making stuff for the channel, and I've definitely hit monetization by now, so thank you all so much for that. Like, genuinely, thank you so much. But I need to grind on the game, so I'm just gonna go to a nearby trail and go a direction I haven't gone yet and just see what's there while I explore the world and play the game. So let's go. I stopped at this conveniently placed bench and conveniently there's a node and a puke puke. And also I'm not gonna wear my lav mic today so it's gonna be all camera audio, which isn't that bad, but it's gonna be a quick and dirty video. Unless I have to. Let's see what's in the node. Also, here's the deal. I just smiled at those ladies. I smile at every single person that I pass on these trails and pretty much anywhere I go because like literally just you smiling at them could make their day, you know? I don't even know, like, I just smiled at that guy. I could have had a cringe smile. I don't know what I look like when I'm looking at him, but again, like I said, like, one of three things is gonna happen. They're gonna think I'm cringe because they're just, like, annoyed or my face was, like, actually dumb when I did it. They're gonna get mad because they're jealous that I'm happy and they're not for some reason because that's just reality. Or they'll smile back and realize that there are other happy people in the world and maybe they're, like, faith in humanity will be restored for that day, so. Hunters, while you're out hunting monsters, please smile at people, have a great time, enjoy this life. As far as I know, we only have one, so cherish every moment. Now, uh, hold tight while I murder this dragon. Dang it, I keep trying to critical dodge that tongue. I wonder if I can dodge through it. I'm pretty sure I can. My hunter's chugging potions like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> and there we go, kitty resupplies me. Take out some shame horses again. It's so interesting how the game, like, let's see, if I sync it up. Okay, okay, never mind, never mind. I thought it was like unrealistic because there's water right there where we're looking at, so that's actually accurate. I thought that it was showing trails back there and I was gonna be like, bro, I can't go back there. It's, it's a swamp. It's pretty, but that's a swamp back there. Another thing is, if you're wearing headphones and anytime, Keep your head on a swivel. There are people out there that love life like you and I, but there are also people who do not love life. So keep that in mind. Let's keep moving down the trail. Yo, what are these? I'm gonna look this up when I get home, so if you're seeing this shot, what this plant is is listed on the screen right now. Those look so sick. This bridge is absolutely gorgeous, but there's no spawns here, so I'm not stopping. I took it really slow so that way I didn't die when I hit the wood. Speed up. So I'm sure I sound kind of preachy. I really am not trying to be preachy. I just genuinely love my life and I want you guys to just have perspective. I think kind of like pulling back your perspective and, you know, zooming out a little bit can really help you see things in a new light. I don't know if this is bringing you any value, so let's give you some in-game value. Let's do some critical dodges and talk about those. So I'm gonna fight this Kulu and I'm gonna see if I can critical dodge it. Not quite. Ah, oh, too early. Luckily I haven't leveled up so I can just, let's do one more. Ah, oh, just too early. Whoa, that one I just mis-swiped. Oh, that one was mistimed. I was listening to music earlier when I was riding and I was doing this literally critical dodging while on my skateboard. Now that I'm focused, I can't do it. Too late. So I'm gonna show you by swiping like this. I've never had a timer run out yet, so I wasn't gonna do it on that battle. <laughs> Let's try again. Well, there's a bear off just in range. Every dodge would be a critical dodge. Almost, that was so close timing wise. You have to wait until literally the last second. Too early. Oh, I got it on the second one. As you saw, like literally right before he hit me. The timing is so hard, cause see that felt like it was right, but I knew it wasn't. That one felt like it was gonna be right, but it wasn't. Hey, hit me. No, too early, just too early. Cause you guys are watching me. Got it. So right before he hits you, you gotta do it. I like to swipe towards myself, because if I do get the counter, bam. I can just come right back in and hit him. Oh, what, it didn't get the counter that time. It was too much time in between it. Too early. Oh, I'm gonna run out of time. Oh no, I got hit. Oh, I hit the wall. Oh no. 
Oh no, I don't think I'm actually gonna take out this bear off. I don't have enough time at this point. Oh no, my first timer run out. Nah. <laughs> Failed. <laughs> That's the first monster I failed to, to murderize. Oh, and he ran away. I didn't even, like, because I haven't failed yet, I didn't know. Is he, like, gonna be gone when I go back to the map? <laughs> it tells me to, to upgrade my equipment. <laughs> fair, fair game, thank you. Oh, sick, okay, so he's still there, let's try again. So, it tends to happen more for me when I'm just kind of, like, fighting him, like that, because I'm going for, like, the, just the normal timing of, like, a real fight, right? Oh, I got a stun on him. Um, and it just feels more natural to do that. So with Bear Off, because his attacks are so big, I think it's pushing me out farther. Because when I fight Kulu and I critical dodge, if I dodge away from him, then I can hit the attack. But I'm not getting the critical attack because he's pushing me out so far. So I'm gonna try it one more time and see if I can get pushed out and still hit the critical attack. Dang it, too early. I like to bring my thumb up really high so it can really read the dodge, but I keep doing it too early, dang it. Come on, baby. Got it and then tap, tap, tap immediately, and 25. So I definitely missed the critical hit on that one. Missed, last one, and then I gotta murder this dude. Dodge, hit, attack, yeah, so 90 on that one. That was a good one. This happened to Lance yesterday, but I can't click him. I think he despawned. Okay. There's a Kulu in the woods behind me, but I ain't going in there. And literally nothing else that I see going that direction. So since the sun is getting pretty low in the sky, I think it's time to make my way back. And I guess I'll talk to you guys a little bit on the way back too. Maybe I'll do a drone shot at that bridge because that bridge is sick. Here's an example of how this game and games like this can bring people together. Right before I crossed the bridge, there was this family. There was two ladies and a couple kids. One of them was in scrubs, so thank you for whatever job you do. If you're in scrubs, you're probably doing a job that's good for humanity, so thank you. But they saw me skateboarding and they were saying like, you should teach him to skateboard a little bit. And then I was like, okay. And they were just joking or whatever, but they saw me stop and were kind of curious to what I was doing. I said I was throwing up a drone and they wanted to watch, so we kind of just hung out while I flew the drone. Two ladies and their kids and me just hanging out on a bridge at sunset, just enjoying our time. Like it was fun just hanging out. But like, I get it if you're introverted and you don't wanna to talk to people, no shade, no shame. But again, even just a smile can change someone's day, including yours. It feels good to smile. That's, that's medically proven. All right, I've got a Jagras on this bridge. I just critically dodged his spit. I haven't done that yet. Ow, <laughs> I just got hit. All right, let's see if I can critically dodge again for you guys. Dodged it, that was good. I don't know if that was in frame. Now I'm gonna try and do it away and then hit him. Oh, that was super close. All right, come on, boy. And away, and then hit. Dang it, too late. Oh, he spit on me. All right, come on. Away, and then he's charging, so attack. Yes, yeah, so a 140 attack. Let's go, let's go. So anyway, that's how you critically dodge. All right, it's getting a little dark and spooky, so I'm gonna head back. Speaking of spooky, I don't know about you guys, but September is the beginning of spooky season for me. Look at them boys. Look at those bad, bad boys. <laughs> I really hope there's a Halloween event in Monster Hunter now. Please, Niantic, please do a Halloween event. I wonder if that chair's comfortable. Critical dodge advice. Oh, better heal. Ah! I critical dodged naturally, and still I had time to hit him. Critical dodge a spit, but no, definitely not enough time. Oh, dang it. I'm gonna see if I can dodge through it, forward towards him. Heal again, because I'm at early game. Oof. Oh, I'm poisoned. Sick, I haven't been poisoned yet. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna kill him. All critical dodges. I'm gonna try and dodge towards him, remember? Now, yes, got it. And the critical, it was 140. That was sick. Only towards him, ugh, wrong timing. All right, come on. Now, right, right before he hits you. Right towards him, yes. Now, yes, 
It was like right when I thought that his head was gonna hit the ground, that's when I just thought. A C for all those critical dodges. Yeah, time is the thing that matters the most. Let's see if I can overgrade after today's escapades. I don't think I got any Dragonite ore, so I highly doubt it. No, I still need one Dragonite ore. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be my mission. It's 7.18 right now. I'm gonna try and go home at eight and I'm gonna see if I can get a Dragonite ore before 8 p.m. Right when I said that, I noticed that there is a big node like right there. Let's see where it is. Oh, it's actually back the way I came from. Remember, use your compass so you know where you're going. Also, that plane looks like a UFO, I'll show you. Wow, I can't even see it barely. Wow, look at that UFO. Oh my goodness. Looks like a Jetsons car. I'm sure that view is so gorgeous right now of the sunset. That's why it's so bright. That's sick. I love life. Okay, so I made it to the node, but that's like someone's backyard and I can hear them talking, so I want to be respectful. Let's see if we got the Dragonite ore. Iron ore. Dang, dude, I don't see like any like big nodes right now. Let's head back towards my neighborhood. There's a few Pokestops on the way and it'll be good to test the theory of like, are there nodes for mining and herbs and bone piles where exactly, or at least really close to where Pokestops are. Okay, so there's a Pokestop right behind you. Where is it? I'm not telling you, but let's fire up Monster Hunter now and see if it's the same. Oh, there is. There's a bone pile and my cat got it, but whatever, I don't need to get it. But yeah, so confirmed there was a bone pile here. Let's see, let's see. Yes, it was almost exactly where the Pokestop was. Let's see. There's another Pokestop down this trail and hey, 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 it looks like it's a node. Let's go get our Dragonite ore. Bye, Lagombi. I'll see you soon. <gasps> All iron ore. Craptastic. These trails actually get kind of dangerous at night, and I ain't trying to get stabbed. So I guess I'll look for one closer to my neighborhood. I'm back home. That was genuinely so much fun, but I don't think I got any Dragonite ore. Hopefully my Palico came in clutch and got me some along the way. I'm just gonna check via the overgrade and see if it's there. Ba -ba, ba -ba. Overgrade! No. Let's review the session. Is there a journal function? There's Hunter Medals. So 102 monsters total slain with sword and shield, so that's pretty lit. I've gotten an A score 59 times, so that's really cool. Like Lance was saying, is there an S rank? I don't think so, since there's an A medal. Oh, so it only tracks the large monsters. Cause it says the large monsters I've slain is 102. And it also says for the sword and shield master medal, a medal commemorating the number of monsters slain with sword and shield, 102. So that means the small monsters don't count, but like, that's fine. Those shame horses don't need to count and the Noyos and whatever. A green colored ore known as Wyvern Gleamstone, a rare material used for forging equipment, among other things. But something I did want to note is that it says it can be found in the mining outcrops, which are the big ones, but also the small mining outcrops. That's why I was hoping that maybe my cat got it, but no luck this time. Just know that if you're hunting these, just go to all the mining outcrops. It doesn't matter which one. Dragonite ore can spawn in it. It's probably just really, really rare. Rare. Okay, let's analyze the perfect evade data and the damage that comes afterwards. I am not good at math, so if my math is wrong, I apologize. Okay, correct me and I will pin a comment. Totally fine with me, okay? But uh, if my calculations are correct, then when you get a critical dodge counter strike, then it's 280% extra damage which is crazy, and I will cite my sources. So as you can see here, I'm doing 140 damage. That is because I just did my critical dodge. My reasoning for 280% is that all of my attacks, 13, 12, 17, 21, 51, 63, that's the highest damage I've seen. Even though it wasn't a weak spot, that was really interesting. It was a white number, which means that it was non-elemental, not weak, but I guess because it was blunt damage, I don't know. 20, 16, 12, 28, 17. 
Perfect dodge. That's called a 360 dive roll, by the way. And then 140. So it's somewhere around 280 if I go based on the like higher number, like the 50, 51, because it did 140 damage. And the reason I'm saying like 280% ballpark is because the other number that was yellow, like this or orange or whatever, it was the 50 or 51. So 280% of that is 140. But there was one strike that did 83. So I really don't know like what it's basing it off of. It really isn't important in my opinion. If you do a critical dodge, you do a lot more damage if you counter strike. You have to do it within I imagine like one second. I looked on Niantic's page, basically tells you like kind of how to do it, but it doesn't tell you like how much damage you get. It basically just says like when you perform a perfect evade, the attack after the evade will become more powerful. It doesn't say a percentage, doesn't say a number value. But again, based on calculations, it's anywhere between like 200 to 280 percent. Now let's go over the timing. It's ballpark playing in 60 because I don't have it in 60 FPS mode because I was literally listening to Spotify screen recording and playing the game at the same time. So I didn't want to stress my phone out more, but I still think that it was reaching 60 FPS most of the time. OK, so he cranks up. I knew he was going to bite me. I saw this earlier and I was like looking at like when the timing was because it's like later than you think kind of thing so I waited I waited I waited and then right there right when his mouth was about to get me I was like all right go 360 dive roll Woo! past the jaws let's go so I'm gonna count the frames so six frames before when he would actually touch me it's a little before he he actually like makes contact with my model but it's like exactly six frames one two three four five six Neat. I think that perfect dodging at the monster is the most efficient because then you can like get up and always get the hit. However, it's probably the most dangerous because if you miss that hit, you're just absolutely taking it. So I'd recommend if you're going to try to perfect dodge, which I think you should if you want to be a pro gamer or, you know, take out monsters faster because it's going to do like between 200 and 280 percent more damage if you perfect dodge and get a counter. But if you're going to perfect dodge, you need to do it to the side because usually worst case, yeah, you might get hit, but also best case you get the perfect dodge and then middle case you just dodge out of the way normally so if you miss the timing and it's too early most likely you just won't get the perfect dodge but you'll get a regular dodge and you'll still be able to get up and just attack and not take damage but anyway i'm gonna go finish up my day one edit i hope you enjoyed the video please like it and subscribe so you can go on this hunting journey with me until next time see you later hunters